everyone. Hello. I've got George in to help me with this one today. And so I've got a really exciting review to do. I was asked to do this review for the YHEBP Doctor Pro watch. It is a smartwatch that measures your blood pressure, oxygen, heart, and sleep apnea. What? <laughs> it's, un it's not opened, obviously I'm gonna unbox it. This watch also operates with your uh, iOS systems or Android systems. So you can connect it to your phone and monitor your data. You can send it to your doctors, which is really, really helpful. This one is also Bluetooth connected and bright silver, apparently. I mean, I don't know, we'll find out when we open the box. Before we go into the unboxing, I wanna do two things. I'm just gonna go through the specs with you. And afterwards, I'm gonna do George's blood pressure and oxygen and heart monitoring before we even unbox this, just so that we've got the details and we're gonna match it to see how accurate this is. First things, it is a blood pressure monitor in a watch. It's got a little inflatable cuff on the watch that will inflate when you wanna check your blood pressure and it will read it for you and upload onto the system. And apparently all you have to do is press a button, we'll see when we set it up and it'll do that for you. So it's not doing it all the time or anything, it's as and when you need it. Next thing it's got is HRV analysis, so heart rate variability. And this is the time difference between each successful heartbeat. It's got a heart rate monitor as well, so it's gonna tell you how many beats per minute. And this will monitor your heart rate 24 hours a day. It also does your blood oxygen levels. So in the watch, there should be an infrared system. Same as when you use the blood oxygen meters, it's got the infrared system inside. I don't know if you can see that from there, the little red light. That goes through your skin, into the blood, checks your levels. This watch has that built in, so that's how it checks your blood oxygen levels. It's got an apnea alert. Now, I've never seen any watch like this before. You've obviously got the Apple watches and stuff like that that check ECGs and things like that now. I've never seen an apnea alert before. So apnea, for those of you that don't know, is basically when you stop, start breathing in your sleep. It's a, it's a common condition in people. So this monitors that for you if you wear it to bed. I'm doing that because I'm imagining me wearing it around my wrist for some reason. <laughs> so it detects the O2 levels. So when they drop, it sort of vibrates on your wrist to sort of wake you up to um, sort of reposition sleep, yeah. you and change. That's your crazy. Pattern. I know. Normally I just get an elbow in the back. <laughs> It'd be very different from having it on. Stop snoring. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so users, it says, users who are at risk of respiratory failure or heavy snoring, the watch will make very mild vibration to encourage change in your sleeping position in order to reduce the symptoms. That's something we're going to have to test in the night. We'll come back with that one. It's also got built in an automatic sleep monitoring. So when you're asleep, it's going to measure how you're asleep, how restless you are, if you're moving around a lot, that sort of thing. So it's got... A good night's sleep is essential to a healthy lifestyle. BP Doctor Pro lets you understand your sleep patterns such as deep light sleep, sleep activities to level up your downtime efficiency. So now we've covered the specs and things like that, I'm just going to measure George's blood pressure before we even unbox because I want to show you that this is an accurate representation. I'm not changing anything up or pretending that his blood pressure is the same as the watch. Like you can see this watch is going to be here not unbox it's still got the plastic round it and we're going to do george's blood pressure and i'm going to write on the piece of paper just in case i forget One twenty over 69 that's very good is it well done <laughs> next up we are going to do heart rate and pulse rate Perfect, 78, oxygen, Where's it? 96 down 97. Um, is that bad? I mean, it's it's all right, <clears throat> but it's not in the normal range. That's okay. Here you go. Should I be concerned? No. <laughs> Don't you worry about that right now. Right, blood pressure, 120 over 69. Heart rate, 78. Oxygen between 96 and 97 should be 98, 99, but that's okay. It's the pressure of this YouTube video. <laughs> that's what it is. So now we've got all the bits ready. We can do the unboxing. I'm really excited actually for this. I don't wear watches because my wrists are so skinny. They just don't suit me at all. But this is going to be great. <laughs> 
Indeed, it comes in a nice um, box like this. Very fancy. Ding, ding, ding. This is harder than it looks. Ta -da! This is what it looks like. Very fancy. Okay, so that bit comes out. And that's got all the bits in the machine. Ta -da! This is the watch. So it said silver, but it's got a black strap. Black silver. It also comes with instruction guides, uh, a charging dock. I'm assuming that's a charging dock. We'll find out when we read the instructions. And oh, measuring tape to measure your wrist. Who's got a wrist that big? <laughs> Having a look at the instructions, um, and it looks like you have to install the app. So there is an app. There is a QR code on the instructions to download the app. Oh, I did not know that. I was looking for it on the app store. No. Oh, I'm sure to know. There you go. Awesome. So then once it's synced with the watch, it, you can store all of your details. Um, like I was saying earlier, to, if you needed to send it to a doctor or whatever for them to look at. So we have set up the app. Do you want to show them what it looks like? You have sure to put do. all your registration, date of birth, height, weight, that sort of thing. And then that should be... And then that should be how it looks. So we are going to turn it on. I hope this is charged up. Well, let's take it off the thing. Oh, feels nice. Good for them. Feels velvety. Anyway, um, yeah, hold. You've got the, on the side, you've got two buttons. You've got the long button, which is the home button. And then you've got the small button, which is the power on button. Which, oh, do I take this off? Not yet. Don't. <laughs> I hope it's going to switch on. Do we need to charge it? Okay, I just don't want to... Switching on. Smart. Bluetooth pairing. Please install the Doctor app yet. Yeah. Add the device. So add the device to your Bluetooth. Okay, so we have just paired it. It asked us to pair. And now it's changed to this. It's got the time on it. What it's is well the time? Smart. Is it the right time? It's 5.39. 20 to 6? Nearly. Oh, yeah. So it's already recognised that we're in the UK. We're on UK time, London. Um, and now on the phone, it says it's connected. And obviously, it will read everything once I put it on my wrist. Yeah. Oh, that's so fancy. It is. Look how nice that looks. Yeah. Look I wonder if we can change the... Um... You might be able to in the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, look how nice this looks. I, am lo I wish I could wear watches, because I do love watches, but I, I just can't wear them because of my little wrists. Home screen, let's press the home screen. Home screen, see what happens. There you go. So it takes you to this page, blood pressure, O2, heart rate, workout. Nah, it's not for me. Oh, this is cool. So yeah, you got blood pressure and all that. You swipe up, it gives you some more options. That's very cool. So, what should we do first? Blood pressure? Yeah. Right, let's put it on George. Just opened it. This is the back of it. So this is where the infrared will sit when you start playing with things. This is the pump here. Then you can see that extra bit here is your blood pressure pump. So, I'm going to put it facing me. Is that okay? That's going to throw me off. <laughs> oh, sorry. We need to measure it first. So you should measure it first and then put it on whatever tab it says you to. Oh, um, so you have to go two fingers from the two fingers from the wrist, it says. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it goes all the way around. What? We'll find out whenever you put it on. That 
feels too loose, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I feel okay. Feels a bit tired, but. <coughs> we measured eight. You've got to go with eight. <laughs> okay, two things. Look how nice it looks. Very suave. You happy? Very. <laughs> um, but also, when you go on the app store and actually open the app, you go on my profile and you have a bit called my dial. So there is a feature with new dials. This is what we're asking. So you can obviously pick. I didn't look at this. We didn't know front. this before. Obviously, near Christmas, I'm going to have the old Santa on. Is there a Santa? Your Santa. Your <laughs> so that's from the store. That is so cool. And then you've got the oh, ones. Oh, you can have the ones that, your phone because your phone. That are previously automatically installed. I like the one that's on there at the minute. Actually. Mm, it's quite fancy, actually. Very got distracted. So in the quick guide, it's got the blood pressure measurement section and it says there are two ways to take a measurement. Press the home button, touch the blood pressure button on the screen and begin measuring. Or press and hold the home button to begin measuring. Okay. Good one. And so we've got George in position. Straight arm. Raised on a pile of pillows. <laughs> uh, I'm going to press the home button. I'm going to press blood pressure, I'm going to press start, and it should stop, I'm assuming, when it's done. It does make a buzzing sound, but it's only when you listen to it like that you can hear that really light buzzing sound of it working. I just sat here, like now, I can't hear it. <laughs> The results 102 over 61. Um, I've just done it again just to check it twice, and it's 102 over 66 this time. Um, so that's not far off what it was. So when we checked before, it was 120 over 69. So the bottom number is good, but the top number has dropped down a little bit. But I don't know if that's because we've been sat relaxing for a while doing the videos and talking and things. So what I might do, I know I said I wouldn't do this, is just do your blood pressure again. To compare it, I'm not lying. I promise. If it's if it's out of range, then I will say. Okay. To be fair, it has come down. So now it's um, one over five, 105 over 69. It's still 69 at the bottom. 105. That's not far. But. Actually, that's pretty accurate. So your blood pressure must have settled as we were talking because we've been sat for quite a while. Um, and with raising the pillows up more and straightening out your arm more, that's probably why it's gone down a little bit. I'd say that was pretty accurate. <clears throat> and I haven't faked that, I promise. I would, tell, I would say if it, was like, if it wasn't accurate because technology isn't 100% accurate um, and it does fail sometimes. But I would say that is spot on. So how did it feel wearing it and when it was pumping up? Weird. Not in a bad way, it's just obviously when you have your blood pressure done, you expect it up there. Yeah, yeah. But when yeah. when it was pumping up, you could feel it tightening, yeah, yeah. and then when it was ready, you just said, and it just released. <laughs> <laughs> it was the weirdest thing, but I think it's it's really handy. If people have high blood pressure, I think Yeah, it's... and it's not like it's going to be doing it all the time, just no. when you want to check your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. mm. And it'll save booking with the doctors. <laughs> If it, do you know what I mean? It keeps so a good people, track yeah, on things. Yeah. You can just rely on it. And some people have to check the blood pressure at home. And yeah. Things, so. Yeah. I give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's try the heart bit now. So, uh, let's go back. So we're on the home screen. Maybe. Yeah. So we're going to go up here. On the pillows. Let me come closer to you all. <laughs> <laughs> One small little bit that I've noticed is this keeps going blank. But then I think that might be something to do know, with the settings. Settings. Like. Actually, should I have a look now? Just at the settings. Display. Screen time out. There you go. Oh, okay. So you can change the screen time out to avoid that really annoying two, 20 seconds. Brightness, always on. Raise to wake. Yes, we'll have that. Perfect. Well, this is really this is really simple to use, honest to God. Right, so we want heart rate now. 
So what was the heart rate before? 78. Again, it might have reduced because of that, but I think it should be about the same. 68, 69, 71. Actually, let's compare because then people know I'm not lying. <laughs> if I put this one on a finger, just in case it has come down because we have been relaxed and resting. So just giving it a minute to <coughs> settle down. Oh yeah, don't move. Oh, that's just jumped down. <laughs> 73, oh my god, 73 and 73. Oh, did I catch that? I don't know if... You can't see the back one. Oh. It's crazy how, like, close to accurate it is. Let me, can you use your phone? Mm-hmm. So I'm just using George's phone to try and, so you can see both. So now it's saying 75, that's gone to 69, that's gone to 70, that's gone to 73, oh 73 and 73, oh it's just changed again. So they both keep changing, for that, but that's pretty accurate I'd say. We will... I'll take this off now. Oh yeah, I'll take that off for now. Um, so we've done the heart rate. We're going to do HRV, see what happens with that. Oh, it runs automatically over a period of time. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. That's annoying. It looks like it runs overnight, that one. Anyway, oxygen, we can do oxygen. 96 to 97, apparently. But what does the watch say? According to the watch, you're all right, 98. So that says 98 now, which is good. So that's 96. Let me do a test, put it on my wrist. Oh, it's gone to 97. You can just, uh, just hold it. See. No, I know this is wrong, but it's 91 on me, <laughs> on the thing. 97. Right, let's go back up to 98. 97, 98. We've gone back to 97 now. So mine keeps changing. Problems with technology. It's not 100% accurate. So now we'll just do a little play around just to show you what features and things are on the thing. I'm going to use the second camera so that we can um, show you a bit better with this. So now I've put the watch on the right way so I can actually use it. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you've got your home screen. Look how nice that is. If you scroll from the top, you've got all these quick access things like your change, oh, change of brightness. Let's turn it up. You've got your battery, Bluetooth, alarm vibration, night time, and a quick one to go into your settings. So you've got your display, again, screen timeout, like Claire said earlier, always on, raise to wake, dial theme. I will go into this more like off camera because I'm a bit of a nerd like that. Alert, apnea alert, oh, yeah. move yeah. it. So if obviously I've been sat down for too long, it might mean I've got to move, but I'll put up your alert on for later on. About uh, language. It's all good. Mm, that's cool. Um, unit and to reset the watch. But then this is the main screen. So again, if I go back onto the home screen, if you swipe right to left. It's got all the data that we had earlier. And if you go all the way back again, 
actually like your calories. I've, I've burnt 33 calories just out here. Wow. You feel proud? I do, yeah. Yeah, I'd go for a jog now. <laughs> What's the uh, workout section? And if I go back to the home screen, if I go from down to up, you know, say if I've got any messages or not, might you want to go into the workout? Oh, yeah. God. Outdoor walking, indoor running. Indoor running. Outdoor running. It's going to run down the hall, though. <laughs> you should. Oh. Oh. Oh, so I suppose it was a bit tinier and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And does your heart rate and everything. Oh, that's um, really useful, actually. Cause it's some too people, short to save the day. Uh, their heart rate and things go up. Or their blood pressure might go up when walking or standing. So that'd be useful to use that. Oh, that's because I haven't got my GPS on, so it won't pick up the weather. No, oh, yeah. And you're on my phone. <laughs> uh, sleep. No sleep record, so I'm guessing once you are asleep, mm. your record will come here. That's cool. Alarm. Add an alarm onto my watch. Then your calorie. But yeah, I've. Just... That's so funky. I like it. It's very smart. And I noticed that a lot of watches mm. do look like the Apple Watches. I think it's mm. nice to have something different. Yeah, something other than Apple or Samsung. Yeah. Um, which is a lot cheaper. Like these range from like a hundred to two hundred, I think. Um, or hundred to two hundred ninety nine. So they are a lot cheaper than Apple Samsung products, and they've got all the features. Obviously, it's not going to connect to your phone, um, so you won't get your messages and things like that through from your phone. I don't think. You can't think connect it. it. it um, does. does it? That's what the no messages is. No, I thought that was for. No, so if I see something, I'm like, you need to stop saying that. That the whole reason of it is connected to you, to your phone is you get your alerts and stuff like your phone calls come through your phone. So it's your, not connected to your phone. No, it's connected to the app. It's connected to your phone. It's Bluetooth. No, it's connected. To, it's not connected to your Bluetooth on your phone. Ring me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You can't ring yourself. <laughs> Two seconds. So we're just testing whether it can connect to George's phone through. Um, calling and messages we did try it and it didn't work so we just looked at the app and there is settings on the app to switch it on so let's see ah it doesn't yeah. work <laughs> <laughs> what hang on let me message you let me message you and it comes up miss call claire yeah what does the text look like ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool so Stop right now. This connects to your smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best thing. I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, okay. She never listens to so, me, honestly. I stand corrected. It does connect to your phone, so you can get WhatsApp. Do we try WhatsApp? So you can go, so within the app itself on the phone, if you go on my watch, oh, my watch, and there's notification management there, I don't know if you can see because I bring night. So it connects to your phone as well. So if you're on WeChat, QQ, I don't know what that is, SMS, phone, WhatsApp, um, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Viber, Line, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. It's if you have your like, notifications on oh. your actual phone, it will go through mm. onto your okay, watch. I don't have any of my like social media apps notifications come through. I only have like my S SMS, my um, mm, WhatsApp. Too much otherwise. I have my, all mine switched off yeah. as well because it just gets too much for my phone. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So yes, it connects to your phone on all of your apps. It is literally like all the other smartwatches out there, but it's got all these extra things to monitor your health as well. So. If that's something you like and something you need, I know as nurses, I love tech and I love gadgets and new ways to measure things and stuff like that, as long as they're accurate, obviously. Um, so I think this is amazing and I really am impressed, actually. It's way better than I thought it was going to be, especially because it's quite a good price for this watch. Mm. Um, so, yeah. What do you think? You're impressed. I am impressed. I do. <laughs> the watch I... is his now, anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Claimed it. Uh, no, I, I do love techie stuff. I like Claire. I like phones. I like gadgets. I like knowing how things work. And I think this is 
a very good different thing that's out, that's out there and it's, it seems reliable it seems pretty accurate um sorry i've just seen how this plugs in and i'll be well i've joined a gym recently so i need to go back to the gym so i'm gonna monitor myself on my heart rate and everything like that when i go to the gym so yeah i'm I'm we'll, looking do the we'll do the sleep I'm stuff tonight to as alone. well and we'll upload a new video tomorrow yeah um with the results of the sleep apnea for the final conclusion mm, i'm intrigued at how it's going to feel like to wake me up yeah might have a couple of days to try it out actually because one night i might not yeah but i know i do snore and stuff so you do snore a lot so it's going to be going <laughs> all night oh it's going to be great for me no more snoring this is the answer to all of our problems. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the charger for the watch. Uh, it's got USB connection to connect to any USB. It plugs into there. And then George will demonstrate how it sits on. So if you look on the back, there's four pins there I'm gonna make that will align pins. with that. So you literally, and there's like a clip thing. Nice. And then you plug it in. Mm. I'm impressed. Oh, I'm really impressed with that. To be yeah, honest. it's pretty nice, isn't it? Mm. It's a shame I don't wear watches. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, so we will come back with another little clip with the sleep apnea updates and how we've been getting on for the final bit. But so far, impressed. So far, so good. Mm. Bye. So we are back with the sleep review, um, it has uploaded to the app, we've had a little look before we started filming just to make sure it was all okay, um, do you want to have a look? I'll just get my app up. So one thing I will say is it scares the, the life out of you when it vibrates. <laughs> it it did wake me up to be fair. It woke her up as well as me. It's like your phone, if your phone's on vibrate on the side and it starts buzzing. Mm. That's what it sounded like to me. But then I'm a really light sleeper, so the slightest noise sounds like it's really loud. Um, so it might depend on how you sleep and how deep you sleep and things like that and how you perceive that. Yeah. But it, I did hear it vibrate. And it won't stop vibrating until you actually physically touch mm. the watch. Like an, It's like an off thing on it. Yeah. Um, and but, it comes up with a warning. Yours said sleep apnea, didn't it? Yeah. When it, sort of, it was buzzing and it says sleep apnea. Oh, but then if you look on here... Obviously, so the dark purple is deep sleep, the light purple is light sleep, and then the yellow is when you're awake. Uh, did it for a few days, just logs how long you've been asleep for. Um, that one I didn't sleep very well for, I was 18 minutes. <laughs> that was at work. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's really effective. Cause I don't like wearing watches to bed, mm. um, but I, I, I thought I'd try to like, give you the full... Test out the test. review of yeah. the sleep. But it does, it does, it does wake you up and you like, oh, okay, I have to change my position. Yeah, but it shows it works because it's picking up something's happened. Yeah. Whether it's your oxygen, <clears throat> um, snoring, things like that. Although yours hasn't, weirdly, yours hasn't gone off when you've been snoring. Mm. It just come up with sleep apnea. Yeah. But you snore. weren't snoring when it went off. Because I don't snore. I don't snore. It's a very loud snorer and I'm really <laughs> surprised that it hasn't gone off more. <laughs> yeah. It went off twice last night. Yeah, but it just warns you, um, which is really good because that shows it's working. It's picking something up mm. um, that's going on and then it's recording it. So it shows you on your phone and on the, um, on the watch. On the watch. So yeah, very good feature that mm. no other product has. I've never seen this feature anywhere before. No. The whole sleep and the blood pressure. I've never seen that on anything else. So I think that's really, really good. And I've been wearing it for about a week. Yeah. And it's a, a very comfortable watch to wear. So yeah. Any final thoughts? I'd definitely recommend it. Um, some people that I work with, they were all got the Apple watches and stuff like that, and they all wanted to put this on to, tr to see what it's like to have the blood pressure mm. because they hadn't seen that on the watch before, and they were really impressed. And it, like I said, it takes the pressure off as well. If you've got high blood pressure, it's your way of tracking your own blood pressure, mm. so you haven't got to keep ringing yeah. the doctors, not getting it appointment yeah it's true and then you can submit your readings to your doctor yeah win-win situation definitely so yeah i'd recommend 
So not only can you track your own health, the feature of the app as well is that you can track your family's health as well on there. So you can do your family's blood pressure and things like that, which is a really cool feature. Again, not something I've seen anywhere else. So that is it from us. It's been a really good device to review. Um, we found it really, really useful, really handy, great for everybody. And I'm going to put all of the links and details in the description below. So make sure you check it out.